start with the cons of going solo. Um, and when I say going solo, I mean jumping in, starting, whether you're working from home, whether you get in a suite, whether you get in a building, um, but working by yourself solely, starting your business or trying to, you know, build your business and grow. There is nothing greater than being in a space with people who are like minded at the end of the day and do the same thing that you do because they service people just as you service people. Right. They have days where the first thing I think is like if you are in a space and you're trying to grow and you're trying to learn and you're trying to figure out like, okay, how can I make clientele? How can I build clientele? How can I get more experience? The only experience is like actually being in a space to have the opportunity to experience somebody else running a business or managing clientele or um, being in a shop and say it's a random Saturday and the client, the stylist might have overbooked, but this is a regular of hers and she still wants to get her in. If you are in the same space and you, you know, just so happen to decide to help her with this client, that's another way to meet somebody who also knows somebody who also knows somebody. So now they know you, you just never know what that could lead to. There's multiple people coming in and out of this business all day, all week, right? You meet in so many people. Now, who you see is only a fraction or is only a percentage of the people out there that you can market to because two people can leave out of a salon in a day or business and say, yeah, it was it was another young lady in there. She knew her, but she was doing X, Y, and Z. Or yeah, 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 okay, yeah, where I go, there's a lady in there who just started and she offers X, Y, and Z. You just never know. It's like you are your only you're, you're the only person and your client. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you can't have a preference because I'm also saying this and I work by myself, amongst myself. However, I've experienced both ends of it. And I sometimes miss it. I sometimes miss the community of it. Like literally just being in a space with people who do the same thing and can relate. And I wish I, I would have had that experience of being in a shop in a salon with multiple stylists and like it's a Saturday and we all like y'all let's go out and we all get cute and I think I seen the TikTok and it was like when you and your bestie finish work finish getting everybody else cute and then y'all ready to go and it's like they all got ready at the shop and they left and it was just so cute but they was hustling together they was they was working together you know what I mean all week so I like that I the idea of that is just so fun and so cute and just so fresh to me I don't have that yet um having being able to work amongst people i think is really 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 beneficial um if there's something that you want to learn if there is something because we do not know everything we do not know everything if there is something you want to learn if there is something that you want to get better at if there is something you want to practice if you have some people in the same space as you who might have been doing it longer might got an easier way might know a better method right you have access to that person. Sure, you can take classes. You have to pay for that, though, right? Sure, you can um, look online and YouTube, but there's honestly nothing like learning hands-on, having somebody there with you to either walk you through it or talk you through it. You get what I'm saying? So that that is a big, 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 big thing. And it's like if you go in it with the mindset of like, I'm here to learn, to build relationships, to get as much, gain as much as I can. The thing for me um now i do think it's important to um you know find a place that you align with well yes absolutely and how do you know if this is a place you align with you just try you just try the the, the joy though about being a business owner and an entrepreneur and having the option to make decisions like that you're not committed to just one thing if it's not working, it's not working. Move to the next. Don't do it abruptly. Don't do it like. Don't do it immaturely. Do what you have to do. Make your observations. Study. Figure out your options. And then make the best decision from there. Right? I definitely, definitely think like the idea of like going straight to a suite or working by yourself. And, and being a boss and, and having your own clientele and just being able to run a business to say you know you have a business or you got your own space like that's really cute that's really fun but at the end of the day like it's not all what it's hyped up to be let's be real and, and i think anybody can tell you that who 
is in that position. It's not what it's hyped up to be. It's I'm very grateful for my for my position. I'm very um, thankful. Um, I love where I'm at right now. Um, but immediately out the gate, absolutely not. Immediately in my beginner stages in those, in those first four years, no. Just did you know what I mean? It didn't make sense because I don't know everything. I'm still a newbie. So pay your dues. Find you somewhere where you can work amongst some people and learn some stuff and just get a feel for the industry for real. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing, I, people really glamorize the idea of salon suite ownership. And I don't know about y'all. I've seen many people move into a suite, be super ready to be in this suite, be yelling it yelling it from the mountain top yelling it from the mountain tops you know i'm a salon suite owner i'm a i'm a suite owner i have my own suite I da, 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 da. and then those same people not a year pass or not two years pass and they gotta move because it's super expensive it's just expensive being solo especially in this economy right now okay the state of the world inflation it's almost unbearable to do anything solo. Like, it's hard. So be realistic with yourself. You working this hard to pay a percentage of your money to say you got your own room. And then that's the thing too, like these salon suites, like they're great. Um, they're great to grow. Like depending on what stage you're in, it's a great place to move to grow into something bigger you know what i mean but long term or anything other than like a year or two is too long i was at my suite for three years i was there entirely too long because that's what it is it's a building block like it's not meant to be long term if it works for you that works for you however because of how expensive it how expensive it is and the amount of money that you put into it to think like this is just only a room i have you know what i'm saying like yeah, you got the advantage of, hopefully you got the advantage of being able to, um, you know, be in a nice space, have all your amenities, um, and also be comfortable where you're working and feeling like, okay, this is absolutely worth my money. I can't say my suite was an investment because I don't feel like, I mean, I feel like it helped me grow a lot. It did because like a lot of people found me and they realized like oh okay she got her own like sweet like this is really nice and like regardless of what you want to believe or what you think when people see you are in a nice area and then that you're in a nice space they, they they trust is a little bit different with you because they're like okay she's serious you know what i mean like oh, okay she legit legit like oh she oh this this nice oh, i know this ain't cheap so that's also a way that people can perceive you. And I think a lot of people too, probably that's why they want to be in a salon suite because of how it's perceived. Like if you're in a suite, that means like, oh, you got money or you making money and oh, you, oh, you got enough to pay this. Like, oh, how much is this? I, it was so many times I was in the suite and people was like, oh my God, I just know this is expensive. How much do you pay? I've had clients literally ask me how much do I pay? Um, and it's just like, y'all, either you finna go half with me or I'm gonna do the service, you're gonna pay me and you're gonna leave me a tip. Because if I tell you how much I pay, what? But anyway. Um, so it's just many different things, though, y'all, that comes with being in a suite and being with a salon at the end of the day. Um, and then also, depending on what type of salon you go to, y'all, they you can find a salon where they book clients for you. There's still salons that get calls for clients who need to come in, people searching for professionals, and they gonna call the biggest salon that they see marketed and on Google in the area, and if it's a full running salon, absolutely. Some some salons um, are still traditional, so they placing people on your books for you. They helping you build the clientele, essentially. You know what I mean? Um, and again, nothing is like forever. So when you thinking like I don't know if y'all follow or have seen. The girl on a uh, TikTok who was going viral because she was working at Ulta. And I just love seeing that because it's like, yes, let's normalize like actually working 
in like full operating salons for real like and not just jumping out and saying well i'm gonna go spend this money and da 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 that is so smart and i remember when i first graduated i was in bay city michigan and i didn't have my license yet but i really wanted to work at the walmart salon because i'm like oh my god everybody goes to walmart everybody goes to walmart right Everybody goes to Walmart. So it was like, what better way than to market myself to, than to be somewhere where, like, Ulta, come on now. Every girl who get wear makeup, get their hair done, buy product, the, the expensive stuff and the affordable stuff, the drugstore stuff, they in Ulta. And she's in a full salon. And then you got to think about it too. Like, that's a perfect setup because they got the products for you. They got the tools for you. You got a discount. Like, come on. Life is good. And now you leave it with a full clientele. Now you don't went viral on, on, on TikTok. And people are really loving the fact that this is just a regular girl, girl doing what she loves. She she good at it. And, and she loves what she do. And you can tell. Now, she's moving on up. She's in her, you know, she's in her suite. Which is understandable. Because it probably did get to a point where it was like, okay, this is like, now I'm, you know, looking at the numbers or looking at my pool that I now have due to my social media engagement, I can do this on my own. I didn't move into my own suite until after I think that it was like probably that four four year mark of being licensed, three year mark, four year mark of being licensed. Um, and I knew I was like, I was ready. Like I could afford it. It was doable. Um, like, was it scary? Hell yeah, it was scary because I went from working at home in the comfort of my home not having to pay any outside bills outside of just things that ran you know like products like i i could do i could i could all i needed to buy was products you know what i mean but outside of that like and then i didn't have to leave my house unless i absolutely had to like i was living the dream but realistically like that's not feasible for too long either me for me personally um because i knew how i wanted to be as a stylist and how I saw myself as a stylist um but definitely when you're thinking about you know I just passed my state boards I got my license now what do I do get out there in the field go to some salons shop around I've seen people say they've booked services before actually just to kind of get a feel for it to see you know on a regular day, like what is this line actually like versus what it looks like or it seems to be ran like, you know what I mean? Like, let me actually see as a paying customer, like what, what my experience would be like. Um, you have Walmarts, you have great clips. You want to learn how to cut? That was also another thing. I think I posted that video, but then deleted it. I'm going to do another video um, and share with y'all my experience um, interviewing at great clips. Now, I always said I wanted to master cutting and coloring. And I knew at Great Clips, what do they do? They cut hair. It doesn't matter. They do in trims. They do bob cuts. They do fades. They do lineups. They do all types of cuts. You know what I mean? Razor cuts. They do um, wolf cut. They, do, they cut hair. So my thinking was, oh, my God, I could work at this. Cut hair. Learn how to cut hair. And I'll be good. Like, I could work here for two years. And what I'm thinking is also, this is a, this is a hourly job too. So I don't have to be nervous if I don't have any clients coming in consistently. Or if I'm not booked every day I go to work, this is an hourly job. So not only is my pay safe, but like, I'm going to be safe because I'm getting paid hourly. And I'm okay with the hourly rate wage. So this is a win-win for me. And I get to learn and practice. Because nobody is going to great clips because they just think you the top cut you the top uh artist in the in the state. They going because like, okay, there's a market for people who don't have a stylist yet. Because it's so funny, I had a client, she told me nobody ever used to do her and her daughter's cut um before this year, before last year, because their stylist was at a great clips and they rolled with that stylist for years until she just stopped doing hair but that was the only person that ever cut her and her daughter's hair because they loved how she cut hair and she was at a great clips 
So again, there's there's a market you can create. There's a market you can tap into outside of what's trending. Get outside of what is trending right now. Like, and do not let Instagram reels and 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 TikTok and these YouTube videos and these aesthetics get you excited. Well, let me not say get you excited. Don't let these things pressure you into feeling like this is what I need this is what I need this is what I need this is the life I want like no it takes so many different steps to get to where you actually want to go you have to like give yourself grace and experience and give yourself that chance to experience get some experience pay your dues pay your dues before you do anything listen and learn as and, and learn as much as you can literally take away as much as you can from everybody around you especially those who are doing what you want to do let's be real like utilize that utilize those spaces jobs and those opportunities but not to get off into a rampage because i just real life footage what's up with it i can't tell y'all i can't disclose uh, i mean i ain't lotion up or nothing jesus Nigga, you look like you ready for the day didn't lotion up or nothing. You look like you're ready to go to Detroit and have a blast. I don't got a jacket on or nothing. It's hot out here. Um, okay. intermission to the video because I have to go wash my brother's hair. Um, and intermission to the video, y'all. Turn. started out as like a sit down tip video so I was just kind of chit chat and there was some things I wanted to talk about and that didn't happen because I ended up having to leave do my brother hair um just wash it and then I went to the city for a barbecue <coughs> then yesterday was Cinco de Mayo um and today was Monday today is Monday um and y'all know Monday is my off day my errand day um, it was, I was all over the place today, but I did get some stuff done. Um, and also, Nicole came in, a box full of all my weights. Literally, I think I had about 15 things, all white. Oh, excuse me. y'all huh probably not however this is like i think 15 pieces um oh wait let's see what this is and i pretty much got all dresses honestly because oh i think this is a skirt oh no this is a dress so i pretty much got all dresses because i told y'all i prefer to just work in my dresses it's easy i love one pieces 
Um, one piece has made life so much easier. So I guess I'm about to try out some of this stuff. And then I'm gonna chit chat. Oh, and also, waiting for one more shipment uh, tools that I need to make the product. And we are starting next week with the product. It's gonna be a real busy, hectic week. But anyway, I got the thank you cards. And I got two different style of thank you cards. Um, because I always get my uh, stuff from Staples. I need to really price match because this is the same one that I've been had. I just kind of reworded some stuff, changed this down here. Um, and this one, if you get this card, there is a 10% coupon code. Um, and then this one, okay, yeah. So one is $10 off, one is 10% off, one is $10 off. Um, and it's no, I got 50 of each, so I got 100. I started out with 100, which was pretty much my quantity um, goal as far as like ordering to one, keep myself within a certain budget and also to um, like the first 100 orders, which prayerfully I make 100 orders, you know, in two weeks or even a month, I don't know, but um, I know I'm good for at least 100 orders, right? So one is just a thank you card with $10 off your, new, uh, your order. And then the other one is uh, 10%. So I have to actually add these codes onto my online booking site. I mean, I need to add these codes onto my website so people actually um, go to put the coupon in when they do order again. Um, it'll actually be active because I have not did that yet. Um, and then I gotta, this week I have to make sure my um, site is live and like it's actually working and my email is set up. And then I need to, oh, another goal this week is to order all of my labeling. So I like to use Avery.com. They have nice labels. I think it's a you know great deal, great price. I'm able to pick out exactly how I want my labels. I like the shiny labels um, because you don't have to worry about your product bottle like smudging or um, anything transferring like because it is oils and water and sprays and you know what I'm saying? So it can drip on the bottle and then it can ruin the label. But with Avery, I never deal with that. So um, that is one thing I have to do. I have to order my labels, but think about that because I do have, I want to say a total of seven products um that's seven labels i have to create update a lot of them are done but i do have to go in and update them um and make sure everything is all set spell check um and yeah so that's pretty much what's on the agenda am i gonna do anything tonight i'm not sure because i need to clean up my space it's such a mess in here um i need to clean my carpet um and I need to shower, I need to do some laundry, and I gotta get myself together. So yeah, um, it is May 6th, so we have how many days before launch? Um, and I also wanna do another photo shoot before I launch, so I'm trying to work with the photographer to see. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four, So we officially have 11 days, almost 10 days, basically, because it's 8.30. Um, basically 10 days before launch day. Um, and starting tomorrow, too, it's like promo, 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 promo. Um, so I'm excited, a little overwhelmed, but nothing I can't handle. I'm just happy that like once everything is here, um, I know I'll be like, okay. Like I have kind of like a, a a clear head space. The only thing I am, honestly, I need to like really, really figure out is like how am I gonna set up for my spare room, like where I do my makeup and do like sit down. I think my goal is to. I think my goal is gonna be for that to be like my product, my work room, um, cause it makes the most sense. 
And because there is so many boxes and so many things to keep organized and so much inventory to like say like, okay, this is what I have, you know what I mean? Somewhere for the, for the accessories and all the different like products and the scarves and like shipping stuff. And um, I also have to get, I don't know if I'm getting it like this go around like before I launch, but I do want to invest into um, a shipping label printer. Um, um, but I think it's fairly easy because I know on my site, like, there is an option for me to just go ahead and print it. And I imagine I just get the printer and set it up, print it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We're going to see. I have to get all that shit together. So, literally, I'm not playing a brown. On top of, again, seeing client, like, this week is a really busy week for me. Like, every day at work, I'm going to be at work at least 10 hours a day. 10, 12 hours, right? So, realistically, um... I'm waking up going to work and then I'm coming home and it's almost time to go to bed so I can do it again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. And I'm super excited to try this stuff on. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm not gonna bore y'all unless like I put something on I'm just like, oh my God, y'all gotta see this. But this is a lot of stuff to put on and we not here for clothes, I don't think. Yeah, I will be back. Okay, not sure what happened to my last footage. Hello vlog, it's the next day. It is currently, um, it is Tuesday. It's the start of a work week. And I have two clients today. I don't go in until 2.30. My last client is my sister. Um, she's coming in at 5.30 and she is getting small braids. Um, and I have to wash her. So really, this is about to be a long day. Um, but I'm up right now because I have to go run some errands, of course. Um, I was waiting for my target order to get here. It did get here. So now I'm about to go run my little few errands before two o'clock um, and then start cleaning up because I need to clean up so bad. What I jumped on here to say, so I'm really trying to like, I'm, I'm getting my little, I'm doing like a super quick, like I literally just doing my brows and putting some lashes on. Um, I be wanting to do this every morning, do I? No. But you can't judge me for that because I'm not judging me, okay? Anyway, um, so I want to, um, I thought, okay, I want to show y'all because I was talking yesterday about trying to figure out how to make this space, like a space that I, that I that's functional for everything I need it to be. I don't want it to be a catch-all space, but I also need this space to get ready, possibly. Because I also was thinking like my bedroom lighting is amazing. Like it's two big windows in there. So the lighting is just great to do my makeup every time like with no artificial lighting, which I would prefer because as y'all can see, this is just, she got a lot going on right there. Um, and it's kind of weird too, because it's only one light. It's not both lights coming in from both ways. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm trying to figure out how I want this space to be. Um, and like my bedroom in this room is like the room that I have not gotten together for real, for real. Like I haven't gotten all the way together. Um, so look at these edges, Wowzer. I'm about to do them. I'm about to do them. Um, but I don't know. I want this to be my product room for sure because it'll just make life so much easier. But I'm going to show y'all, but y'all have probably seen this in so many videos and so many, um, for sure in my at home salon for sure in my at home salon video um, that I posted but nonetheless so I'm about to show y'all what I'm thinking okay so let's turn the studio light on because why not right so as y'all can see uh, it's literally just oh I didn't notice I did not notice this is supposed to be all the way over there but anyway as y'all can see this is just like my, it's like a glass shelf. And this would be a great shelf for like products, which that's what I'm imagining. However, all of this stuff that's on the shelves, where do they go, right? Yeah, we need to figure that out. I was thinking I could use my window seal as like a bookshelf for the books. Because I did see somebody's window and they had like their books stacked up. They just pulled the blinds up and had their books stacked up. So you couldn't necessarily see in the room because the books, right? So I was thinking I could also do that. Um, this, like, it works right now. It absolutely works. It looks a mess right now, but that's because I'm getting ready. 
but this works i know this could be so much better um and like i said it works right now but it's not like the dream get ready station for me um but yeah i'm thinking like and i do have a whole closet back there that i could put these in and just organize my closet a little bit better and then have everything stored in my closet and all my products out here um so yeah that is my goal this weekend i really want to get that set up and situated so it's functioning properly because no matter what sam before my camera dies um yeah i'm trying to figure out i'm trying to get my life together and no matter what um a, a well equipped and functioning space to just kind of thrive in is a life hack um so i know before the 17th all of this will be figured out because once these products launch and the site is up and running i need to literally be able to like stay consistent and i need this to work for me not against me um and i need it to be just like a day-to-day -day, um part of my routine even though orders will only be shipped on mondays and wednesdays those are my two dedicated days that i will ship orders monday being because it's the first business day and monday is my off day wednesdays because i mentioned before wednesday is a late start day i normally don't go to work till 3 30 unless you know depending on the day but most most of the time i don't go to work till 3 30. most of the time i don't go to work till 3 30 so i know i'll be able to get a ship whatever orders i have to ship by wednesday um so say if the order come in um, Monday night or Tuesday, I can still ship those orders out by Wednesday. Anything else after Wednesday has to ship on Monday, and then we do the same thing over again, right? So, I'm trying to get my life together. I need to hurry up um, and get out this house because it's already 9.30, I think. I should have been gone, but I don't have a lot to do. Just a couple things. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep you all updated. My camera definitely has to charge. And I'll see you all later. What do you want from me? Are you trying to get me back or just bad memories? What do you want from me? You can buy my love with all your treasuries. Oh, you think that you're alright and you think that you care. Now that they are not the
So we taking it back. So I moved over to my camera, to my phone. So um, I was just giving you an update. Basically, it is 8.30, 8.45, and I'm about to start this spare room that I was telling y'all about um, in the clip earlier. But I need to decide what I'm gonna do regarding this. Um, stop, y'all. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do regarding this makeup little setup. I think I'm gonna move it. I had an idea, but I don't think it's gonna work. But yeah, so I'm about to deep clean this room. I need to um, vacuum the floor, clean my carpet, dust this uh, stand off, literally move all of this stuff. I need to figure out how I'm gonna take all of this stuff and transfer it to this closet over here. Because as you can see, this closet is actually a really nice size closet. I just kind of use it as a catch-all because it has my summer clothes in there. Um, it has like miscellaneous stuff in there, stuff from like pop-up shops and stuff. Um, nothing that I really need, like, you know what I mean right now. But, so yeah, I'm about to go through this. I'm about to go through this, figure out how I'm about to do this. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm about to make this. I don't know, so hear me out. I wanna make this window my makeup window and put the mirror in the window, lift the blinds up, and on the spaces, I said make these like the, cover my window with the books, like using the books. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, we about to see. Um, I'm about to play some music and I'm just about to get to work because I don't have that much time, it's already, 8.45, almost 9 o'clock. I still need to actually, um, oh, this is what I was saying before, my camera shut up on me. But I actually need to, need to literally do my labels for the bottles. Um, that was absolutely the last thing, the very last thing. And I know I should have probably did that first. So those were in. Um, but it's the most tedious thing and like I have to just make sure um, I'm listing everything right. Um, things like that though, very small little, but like I can mess up and like mess around and just copy and paste it to the wrong label type stuff or just have to duplicate and make sure I'm saving the files correctly and ordering the right number of labels with the right actual template call. Y'all, um, I need to figure out me a system for real for labeling. Um, I really probably should just give me a label maker or a printer to just print my labels. But again, more work. It's more work, right? Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna end the night doing. But right now my goal is to get this room situated because this is literally gonna be the product room. I'm just gonna make all my products. When I come in here, y'all gonna know it's either to do my makeup or to get to work, which is normally why I be in here is either doing my makeup or doing my makeup. <laughs> but. This is about to be the work room. I'm about to set everything up. And luckily though, it's not a lot of stuff on the shelf realistically because everything is already in these little craft bins because a lot of this is like craft stuff, miscellaneous, cords, um, all my stuff for like plugins or extra chargers or extra ports, USB thing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to figure this out and I'm gonna keep y'all updated. <music> Thank you.